Good morning, guys. Hey, everybody. Daryl here. And I'm Kim. We're some days here. And uh, our previous video, we said we would show you the final uh, modifications that we made to our 2011 landmark uh, by Heartland San Antonio version. So, so today we're going to do it. So Kim's going to show you around. So come on back. Show you what we did. See if you like it. So here it is, finally, a lot of tears and sweat and hard work, <laughs> but it's finally done. We went in and we painted the whole camper. This is supposed to be Duke Gray by Magnolia Homes, but it's really a blue to me, but it's, it's a pretty color. I like it. We wanted to do like an accent, so we used this. And this again, would, like we used in the bathroom, this is actually the Marquise, the um, Cotton Gray. And then this is perfect gray that we use by Marquise also. So we painted the refrigerator. We painted all of this. We started on this. We still have a little bit more, I think, that we're going to do on the um, backsplash. It was very hard to do. Very hard to do on this one. I guess because it, if you remember, it had this glass back here. So it was really sticking and it was hard. It wasn't very forgiving. But we muddled through and got it done. So that's all we can say. That's a peel and stick? Yes. Okay, so we, this is the peel and stick that we used on here. So, it was, like I said, it was very hard to do, but we muddled through and got it done. And um, when I told you that this is the Bear, I mean, this uh, marquee, it's done by Bear, which came from Home Depot. Now, the other one came from a little specialty shop, and it is um, in Lafayette. So, it was um, the marquee, I mean, the um, Magnolia Homes by Joanna Gaines, her line. That was the Duke Gray. So we decided that we would do the island. This is what inspired the whole thing because we decided to do the island and then it ended up being the whole camper. Um, so we painted this and I really love the way it came out. It came out really good, I think. So then we just did the uppers a different color, which is the gray that goes with everything else in here. Um, I made all of the curtains in here for it. So. That was very time consuming too. And how did how did how did you do that? How does how did it work? You just I took just some took, material. Yes, and I wouldn't use this kind of material again simply because of the way the runs are in it, and you have to use a lot of material for this. I would use something that's a solid or a um, check or something that you can go either way with. This could only go down, so it wasted. I mean, you had to use a lot of fabric to do it. So. And where'd you get but, it at? I got this in Hobby Lobby. Okay. But I really like it. I like the bird theme. I think it's really pretty and I like the turquoise and stuff in it. So basically so, it's just a rod and then you just sewed the top in where it slides open and close. Nothing, right. Nothing fancy. No rings, no nothing. No. Show them how it does. You just close them. So, and then these are the same that we did back here. But on these we put the little rod, the little little uh, rings on there so we can open and close them, slide it a lot easier than those and it, they, we can open them up the whole way these we really didn't care but we wanted the big windows to actually be able to open all the way to get the most natural light in here so and then there's our rec pro that we daryl's actually liking it now yep very comfortable so it's working out really good for us now we we really like it so so the curtains all the way around we took all the balances off uh, took all really the, the day night shades. Uh, they were starting to weather. Day night shades are great when you first get them, but after a while they break. And you can fix them if you want, but they really collect a lot of dust and they're hard to oh, clean. Dust is unbelievable. Really so we didn't do anything fun. with the carpet or the floors. We like that, so no, that's not a we problem. We just threw a rug out here. My sister had actually gotten this rug and she couldn't use it, so I just took it and put it on the floor here. All right. Then she painted the uh, laundry room door. And then we did the bedroom. You all remember seeing the bathroom, I'm sure. Yeah, here's the bathroom that you saw in it's some previous... It's still holding up good, too. Yeah. Well, it's only been three months, but yeah, <laughs> it's holding up. 
And I'm not really fond of these curtains, so I have some material. I think I'm going to redo them, but they're doing for the time being. And I um, painted the headboard, and it was kind of, it had a, um, like a leather thing, inserts in them. So I used that, and I just painted it. I just painted it, so, just to give it an accent. And I had some of the paint left over, so I decided I'd use it. That's right. This is a, a, a kind of a cloth material here, and this is wood. See how flimsy it is? It's very flimsy. But it's just up there for decoration. Right. It's lightweight. It works. It works. So that's all that matters. And then we painted all of this. I had it actually painted another color that I actually did not like at all. So I had to go back and repaint it all. And we put the pill and stick tiles in the bathroom. The same ones that we had in the, um, I mean in the bedroom that we had in the bathroom. We painted all of this. You got a little shade over there. You took out that day night shade that never worked since yeah, so we bought it. These up, and this one's never worked since we bought it either. It doesn't go all the way up, but it's doing the trick. <laughs> uh, the, the day that I got it, I let go of it and it wrapped around and it's never worked right since then. So, but it keeps the morning sun out. All right. So that's it. So. Yep. We didn't do the floors or anything. The floors were in good shape, and I mean it really. That kind of stuff just really was not important at this point right now. We did everything else, so we figured we're well, taking a break. It was a lot of work. Well, I want to tell uh, everybody that Kim did all of the painting in here. Um, she, all by myself. She elected to do this job, so I let her do it. I think she picked <laughs> out some fantastic colors. Uh, the grays and, and the off-whites and, yeah. and the accent ones, like on the fireplace here. Oh, yeah, I forgot I, about the fireplace. This, this was, if you remember, it was a... Um, a tan color so I just painted it and it really turned out good I mean it just has just enough pop and it blends in with everything else but this paint is really kind of cool because it depends on the way the Sun is shining as to what color it actually is during the day some days it looks blue and if it's real cloudy it looks like a dark gray it's really I like the color a lot then we changed out our TV from a 40 inch to a 50 inch to, we want to go with a smart TV they're more efficient than the ones that True. came stock in here back in 2010 when it was made so and it's heavy yeah so well, this one's a lot lighter and it's adjustable it'll pull all the way out and then we secure it when we're on the road came from Costco <laughs> but anyway this is it yep so don't be afraid if you want to uh, get an RV and you want to fix it up you don't want to look at all the wood cabinets and all the wood the trim get your paintbrush out and get to work now she did kill some of this out here on no, this one no because this was the the bare paint had the kilts and primer in it oh there you go but i did i did um kilts these though just to make sure because we're using these so much more yeah. but the rest of it is not kilts cool well anyway that's it so there's your little tour so uh uh we wanted to show everybody this so now we can actually do some videos in here because we didn't want to do any videos in here because <laughs> then you would have saw some of the stuff so yeah so that's it. So but it did. It brightened it up so much. It looks like a totally different camper now. So make your RV your own. Yep. And Don't be afraid. We hope you like it. Put some comments down below. And tell us uh, what colors you like. If you need any more information, uh, Kim can answer. I, I can't. Uh, the brushes <laughs> she used, whether they yeah. foam or or long or rollers and all that stuff. So Kim will be able to tell you everything you need to know if you elect to do something like this. And again, it's just a little bit of work. If you don't like to see all the wood. It's Make not it a little own. bit, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Trust me, a lot. Not for me. A lot. But it came out really good. I'm proud of her. It worked good. Yeah. So anyway, until next time. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. See you on the road, guys.